What's going on, Dungeoneers? It's Draco Invictus with another Neverwinter 101. And we are once again in Protector's Enclave. We are up at the peak overlooking the, the vast uh, city of Neverwinter. And uh, yeah, we, we have throngs of people gathering around to, to hear the tales that I'm going to tell in today's titillating whatever <laughs> damn I lost one okay so today we are going to talk about lock boxes uh, if you're just starting out you're running around and there's these glowing boxes on the ground and and they automatically pick up and they go into your inventory and they are right now the lock box of the nine there are so many different kinds of lock boxes out there um, you know so they all contain really, really cool stuff. So the best thing to get out of the lockbox of the nine would have to be the Celestial Stag, which is currently selling for somewhere upwards of four million astral diamonds uh, on the uh, on the trade house. Uh, Starfade Stag selling well. Sigil of the nine, yeah. Um, definitely get your money's worth. Now. To unlock these lock boxes, you have to have enchanted keys. I happen to have 10 of them. Okay, there's a couple different ways you can get enchanted keys. Well, two, actually. On the Zen Market, you can go to keys, and we can go here, and here is one enchanted key for 125 Zen. Our current market is uh, 300 Astral Diamonds per Zen, so you're looking at about 350,000 Astral Diamonds. Is that right? No. That can't be right. No. You're looking about 35,000 Astral Diamonds. There we go. Um, to get one key. Okay. Ten keys, 1125. And... Uh, you can buy them in stacks of 10 or 1 or 10. Okay. You can also get 50 enchanted keys and one month of VIP. Okay. You've heard me talk about VIP before. I will talk about VIP again. You really need to get it. If you're going to play, play this game, you need to get VIP. Okay. One month of VIP is 1,000 Zen. Right now, 300,000 Astral Diamonds. That is not hard to do in this game with one character. If you're running two different characters, running your dailies every day and all that stuff, this is easy to do. And I'm not even talking about all the stuff that you can, you know, find and sell and make even more Astral Diamonds. I'm just talking about doing dailies. You can make about 20,000 Astral Diamonds every day for each character. Just doing your dailies. Daily dungeons, daily skirmishes, 20,000 astral diamonds. Okay? So, you figure if you have two characters both running daily dungeons, daily skirmishes, that's 40,000 astral diamonds a day. It would take you less than 10 days to have enough astral diamonds to buy your one month of VIP. Okay? VIP rank one gives you a 10% XP bonus 15% astral diamond bonus so now when you have your VIP and you're running those dailies those dungeons those skirmishes the PvP all that stuff now you're getting an additional 15% for your astral diamonds uh, access to the VIP area in Moonstone Mask it's just a very it's like a little clubhouse that has the main vendors that you need. It has a mailbox. It, you know, it has the things that you need. It's okay. Uh, but look down at the very bottom. Per account, you get one enchanted key per day. Now we know that they're running 125 Zen. Let's just say they were running 100 Zen for each key. Well, in 30 days, you're going to have 3,000 Zen just in enchanted keys. If you bought one if you bought one key a day, 
and we know that it's more than that, it would cost you 32,500 Zen. Or no, 3,250 Zen. There we go. Um, for 30 days. So, getting VIP is actually the smarter way to go than buying enchanted keys. Now, of course, when you move up in the ranks, you, nothing changes over on the left, but you do get um, your all active companions are in 20%, you know, bonus experience or total XP earned and you receive additional ID scrolls and, you know, you extra HP and, you know, an epic dungeon key because you get one already, you get a second one, you know, so there's there's definite benefits there uh, for getting VIP. Once you get a rank of VIP, uh, it doesn't go away. So I'm rank one. I will always be rank one. Welcome if I buy another month of VIP, I don't know if I can wait until after it expires or before. But if I buy another one, then I go up another rank. So essentially, in 12 months, you would be rank 12 VIP. And then you would have all the cool stuff that you get. You know, and, you know, Russian companion training and profession task uh, cost reduced by addition, uh, 25% total. A Wonders Bazaar cost reduced by 25%. Summon the banking portal. So you could, instead of having to run to the bank every day Welcome or whenever you need something out of it, you could summon a little portal and you could access the bank right then and there. So, and there's benefits for each rank as you go up. So, but with my one month of VIP that I purchased, which is, notice, 2250 cheaper than just buying the keys, I get all the additional stuff on top of it. Um, but I do get keys. So, and I've opened a couple lock boxes, um, and like I said, there are a lot of different lock boxes on out there, not just the ones that you pick up. Um, no, they are under consumables. Yep. So if you don't like what's in the in the um, in the in the one that you have, you could get the Black Earth lock box. The Crushing Wave lockbox, Dragon Forge lockbox. So, okay, in here, you can get a Metallic Ancestry Dragon Board. You can actually get the race, the Dragonborn race, okay? Or a Gorgon or an Iron Golem as a companion, or a Dragon Forged Artifact Provisions Pack. You know, there's lots of things that you could get in there. The Eternal Flame lockbox. You could get an armored giant strider as a mount, uh, a giant strider, uh, a symbol of fire. You know, so you could get, you can, and you can go buy these. See, you know, these I need to sort by buyout. So there's the lockbox of the nines, you would do well to see which is what we currently have in our inventory. And I have a ton of them. See, and they don't sell for much, you know, 18, you know, I mean, they're selling for nothing. This is probably going to be all lockbox of the nine. Yep. So, um, I was trying to show you guys some different ones. Let's go, um, let's see if that, there we go. So here's a Shonda Cool lockbox. You know, you could get an armored griffin mount pack, a uh, crescent insignia pack. There, and of course, the likelihood of getting the the rare is easy <laughs> because that's the what you're going to get most of the time. And then the legendary. I mean, and then you know, so the likelihood of getting the the armored griffin mount pack is probably one percent. You probably have a 1% chance of every chest you open. But people do it all day long. It always pops up at the top of your screen and it shows you, hey, so-and-so got this out of opening an enchantment pack. So, I thought 
it would be fun to open a few. Let's open a week's worth. Let's open seven lock boxes. Just the ones that we have. I'm not going to go buy any or anything like that. We are going to open seven lock box of the nine. And we'll see what we get. And, you know, maybe we'll get a Starfade Stag or a Sigil of the Nine or maybe we'll get the Celestial Stag. And while I would love to be riding a mount at 140% of my movement speed, I would sell it in a heartbeat and I would underbid everybody by a bunch. I'm talking I'd underbid them by 50,000 Astral Diamonds <laughs> just so that I was the number one, you know, that people saw when they did a search for it. And I would be the first one to sell. Because at 4 million Astral Diamonds, uh, even though the market is taking a 10% cut off of that, ouch. <laughs> you know, so you're losing almost half, you're losing 400,000 Astral Diamonds just by selling it. But no, I, I am totally okay with that. If you ended up with 3 million Astral Diamonds at the end of the day for being the number one seller, um, Imagine what I could do with 3 million Astral Diamonds. I would be a rank 12 VIP, right? That would be done. Um, I'd never have to worry about running all the way from one end of the map to the other just to get out of the map. <laughs> you know, so... Um, so, yeah. But the likelihood of us actually getting that, pretty small. So, I am going to open seven of these and let's see what we get. You guys ready? Here we go. Our first seven opened on video. Open it. The Nobles Enchantment Pack. Okay. Pretty cool. I think they're selling probably 10,000. Uh, but we did get 10 Tarmaloon uh, trade bars. That's nice. Um, so let's open another one. Advisor's Artifact Pack. All right. Calvary Mount Pack. The Advisor's Artifact Pack. That's two that we got. Noble's Enchantment Pack. Come on. Give me something. All right. So there's seven. We opened seven. So, uh... I mean, look at all the stuff that we... Okay, so let's, let's get out. We've opened our seven. Let's go see what we got. Okay. So, oh, those are the Mark of Power that I bought in the other video. There we go. So we got the Noble's Enchantment Pack. This pack contains one of the following. Superior Mark of Potency, Greater Mark of Potency, and Mark of Potency. And one of the following. Brilliant Diamond, Blood Ruby, and Black Opal. Two Black Opal, Black Opal, and two Flawless Sapphire. Life Drinker Enchantment, Blood, th uh, blood Theft Enchantment, a Rank 8 Enchantment, two Rank 7 Enchantments. So... Since we got the keys for free, we got the lock boxes for free, if we sell anything or take anything out of here, it's all a bonus, right? Because the VIP alone, we, we know that it, it's, the keys would essentially cost one third of what you could buy them for on the Zen market. So if we bought one key, let's say one pack of these uh, came with uh, one key, so that's uh, three, what, three, 30,000? Yeah, 30,000 Astral Diamonds to get, well, 30, 32,500 Astral Diamonds to get one key. So cut that in a third, so 10,000. So if I could sell this Nobles Enchantment Pack for at least 10,000 Astral Diamonds, then, uh, then it would be worth it, and I have two of them. Okay, see, and this is why I end up not playing the game for hours. I'm playing the game, just, uh, oh, no, refinement. I'll put in Noble. Noble's Enchantment Pack. First one, cheapest one, 21999 Remember. One third, because it would cost us 3,000 Astral Diamonds to get the same keys that we're getting from VIP. <clears throat> or 3,000 Zen to get the same amount of keys that we're getting from VIP. That only costs us 1,000. So one third 
of the cost. So just over 10,000 is, is what we need to break even for each key. Noble's Enchantment Pack, right there, we've doubled our money for that key. Not bad. We got two of them. I may keep one, sell one. Okay? So let's see what else we got. We got the Advisor's Artifact Pack. Uh, it contains one of the following, Greater Mark of Potency, Greater Refining Stone, two Refining Stones. So one of those three. Also one of the following. Augma's Token of Free Movement, Heart of the White Dragon, A Sphere of Black Ice, Lantern of Revelation, Shard of Orcus uh, Wand, Two Flawless Sapphires, and also three Lesser Refining Stones and a, or a Cube of Augmentation. That's weird that it doesn't say or one of the following. Hmm. Anyway, so Advisor's Artifact Pack. Back over to the trade house, and that's going to be here. And we're going to say advisor selling for ten grand. Oh wait, shit! I may have been wrong on the other one. There we go. Okay, selling for nine grand. Okay, that's cool. Let's go back now that we realize that we screwed that up. And put in our nobles. Okay, so the cheapest one for nobles is 19, not, not 22. But that's okay. Still well worth it. And we're almost breaking even with the other pack. You would do well to seek the favor of the gods. And we had three of them. Okay, the Calvary Mount Pack. This pack contains uncommon, rare, or epic insignia. Most likely uncommon. And one of the following. Rage Drake, Gas Spore, Heavy Inferno Nightmare, Poisonous Looking Spider, Hell Emblazoned Warg, Moss Daubed Horse, and Uncommon Insignia. I will tell you that I bought one of these Calvary's Mount Packs uh, when I first started playing again and I got a Gas Spore. Now, of course, I wanted the Rage Drake. I sold my Gas Spore. I sold that thing for... It was around 100,000, 98, 99,000 Astral Diamonds. Sold it within an hour. And um, then I went back and bought more Calvary Mount Packs and didn't get any cool shit. <laughs> You know, I got a moss daubed horse, which eh, they those sell, you know, but most of the time I got uncommon insignia, uncommon insignia. That's what I got. Or rare, uncommon, you know. It, so it's always a crapshoot with these, but let's go look up the mount pack real quick. And here's 10 of them for 90,000. So they're selling about nine grand a piece. Again, not bad. Considering we're getting these keys as part of VIP, you know, it's, you know, add in the 15% astral diamond bonus. You're, there's a lot that you're getting in just rank one of VIP. Uh, this last thing, the Lord's Stronghold Pack. Uh, it contains two or three. Hmm. Wow. Major Influence Voucher. Major Fey Trinket Voucher. Major Treasures of Tyranny Voucher. Major Dark Gifts Voucher. Major Frozer tre Frozen Treasure Voucher. Surplus Equipment Voucher. Uh, Protector's uh, Gondolone. Uh, Griffin's Checkered Gondolone. Warbird's... Uh, okay. All this stuff is for your stronghold. Stronghold is your guild house. Okay, so if you're not in a guild, then the Longhorn Stronghold Pack not going to be that beneficial to you. But let's go see what they sell for.
Lord Stronghold pack. Here's two of them selling at 36519 so we know that they're each selling for 18 grand and some change a piece. Being that those are some of the cheapest ones. And that was the easiest one for me to do the math on. <laughs> so, um, so definitely worth posting um, on the auction house. And of course you could always, you know, sometimes never trust what it says here in the consignment. Okay, it says eighteen seven forty four, and we know that that's about what they're selling. But sometimes, let's grab just one of those. And so, you know, you want to be competitive, sell that thing at, at nineteen five, somewhere in between the starting bid and the buyout price. You'll be very competitive in the market without doing a whole lot of research. I always research. Always, always, always. Okay, and we were about right. Somewhere around 9,000 for the Advisor's Artifact Pack. And we were actually... This says that we were wrong on the Calvary Mount Pack. But we know that the market is saying that if you want to be competitive, that you have to sell under 10. So, um, so all in all, I mean... Did we make millions of astral diamonds? No. You know, uh, you see these guys that open 500 chests at a time, you know, because they're going out and they're buying. They buy that 50 pack of keys plus the VIP, um, you know, and because they have the Zen to do it, because they've made the astral diamonds. If you look at some of these guys that are making videos, they have literally. 1830 you know I mean it's ridiculous millions of astral diamonds and thousands of Zen just sitting there in their accounts not to mention no on godly amounts of what they have actually posted on the auction house um, so anyway that is uh, going to do it oh, I can't pray from here I have to be down there all right Gotta get that ass with diamonds. So, um, that is going to do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have a better understanding about what lockboxes are, how you use them, and how they can be very valuable to you. Especially if you're getting the keys as part of VIP, or if you're just, hey, every week, you know, I save up my astral diamonds and I go buy a, a ring of 10, um, a ring of 10 keys. You know, I come in here and I, I buy the, the 10 keys for 11.25 uh, every week, you know, because I save up my astral diamonds. You know, this, I mean, this is kind of crazy. You know, so you ignore the one month of VIP. You're getting 50 keys for 5,000. That means that you're getting the keys for a hundred zen a piece. Ignore the VIP. 50 keys for 5,000 zen. You are looking at a hundred zen a piece. And then you get the additional 30 zen or 30 keys from the VIP. You get one a day. So you're actually getting 80 keys in a month. For under a hundred zen a piece, so if you could save up the five thousand zen, this would be the way to go. Because it's the cheapest return, plus you're getting the VIP and you're increasing your ranks and blah 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 blah, all the stuff that we've already covered in the video. So, I hope that you now have a better understanding of lock boxes. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great, incredible day. Uh, this is Draco Invictus saying, take care of yourselves out there, Dungeoneers. This is Draco Invictus saying, this has been the greatest day in my life. Super.